I'm going to go through the five different tier upgrades for the new Mule Kick DLC perk in Cold War Zombies releasing later this week alongside the Marder Toad and Zombies map. We're going to look at these tiers individually. Do they help us as zombie players? How do they stack up against other perks in this game and in the past? What Treyarch could have done instead to make Mule Kick even better in this game? So we're going to go through all of that in today's video. We are now about 300 subs away from 82k. So if you're new and would like to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. And be sure to drop a like on the video as well. Quick reminder reminder season 4 reloaded is releasing this thursday july 15th in my video yesterday i went through all of the early pre-download and release information all of the content we're expected to see in this next update as well so if you guys want a good roundup of all the information you guys need to know about the season 4 reloaded update a link to that video will be at the top of the description down below this week i'll also be streaming pretty much every day starting around 11 a.m eastern time tomorrow we're gonna see a bunch of different stuff the roadmap is monday the reloaded update which is huge a blog post monday or tuesday going through all the new dlc the features all that good stuff we're also going to see a season 4 reloaded broadcast which goes through all different parts of the game especially zombies we'll probably get some more early mario Tone gameplay in that never before seen so keep an eye out for that a lot of stuff this week until we get the actual release this thursday so really exciting week ahead now let's dive into the mule kick dlc perk the five tiers for this perk already leaked out and thanks to Nanakos and Cheeseburger Boys for actually giving us this information. Links to them will be down below. Let's go through here what we know about this perk. The base version of the perk is, of course, carry a third primary weapon. This was pretty much its only feature in the entirety of Treyarch Zombies. Mule Kick was first introduced back in Black Ops 1 on the map Moon, and ever since then, it's been a staple for the series, for the most part, pretty much in every single map. Now, with Cold War Zombies, for the first time, we have a bunch of new additions to the perk to make it a lot better than it ever was before. Tier 1, Crafted Equipment grants an additional equipment if able to so pretty much here self-explanatory if you're crafting equipment you have an extra slot it may give you another piece of equipment you get one monkey you buy one monkey with salvage you could get another monkey bomb there so really really cool there now tier two is super interesting all enemies have a small chance to drop ammo this is a pretty cool feature i don't think anyone would ever turn down more ammo when playing zombies and this is directly from the Voltrade perk we saw back in Buried. We thought that maybe Voltrade would be brought together fully into the Mule Kick perk in this game, but it seems like only this feature was carried over in Cold War Zombies back from BO2. But let's go through all the other Voltrade features and see what else Treyarch could have added to this perk. So the first one here, they will be able to see perks, wall weapons, places to draw chalk wall buys, the pack much machine, and the mystery box through walls over a short distance. This was more map specific to buried, and we really don't need this in, you know, Cold War Zombies, so it makes sense as to why we didn't see that part of the perk. Second one here, zombies will occasionally drop small packets of ammo, approximately 10% of a weapon's magazine size, or points between 5 to 20 points. These only affect the player's currently equipped weapon. Using the paralyzer makes it cool down faster and this is where we're pretty much getting this from at least in the ammo department we're not getting more essence in cold war zombies with tier two of mule kick in this game so that kind of sucks it would have been cool to see the ammo and the essence but at least the ammo cool feature here nonetheless here's the third part of voltrade certain zombies will release a cloud of green gas upon death which will cause players standing inside of it to be ignored by other zombies such zombies can be noted by the green cloud emanating from them so this is a feature I really wanted to see from Voltrade in Mule Kick or in Cold War Zombies in general. This was such a cool feature to have back in Buried. It was so fun to be able to go into the green mist and the green gas and actually just be invincible from the zombies. They're not invincible, but you know, the zombies aren't looking at you for a couple of seconds. It's a cool feature. It helps out in certain scenarios, different situations, and it would have been cool to see that a part of this Mule Kick perk. But unfortunately, we don't have that. Could it be added to another perk in the future? Maybe this could be tier 3 of PhD in this game. Who knows? But I do kind of miss this here. Not a big deal. It's not a must-have feature in Cold War Zombies, but I do like it. So hopefully we do see it in the future. And the final one here, Zombies Eyes, Perk Machines, and the Mystery Box, the Pack Much Machine all have a brighter glow to them and makes them more easily visible again not really a big deal i mean usually these cold war zombie maps are relatively bright it's easy to see things you don't really need that but it would have been a cool little feature nonetheless but overall here i think they did a pretty good job getting a little bit of the vulture aid vibe in mule kick but you know not really everything we saw 
in that perk back from Barry. Now, tier three of Mule Kick and Cold War Zombies, stowed weapons slowly refill ammo from stock. This is a feature we saw back in Black Ops 4 Zombies from the perk Bandolier Bandit. Now, here's a description of what that perk did back then. Bandolier Bandit, when purchased, will simply grant the players increased ammo stock for all of their weapons. When Bandolier Bandit is selected as the modifier perk, and the player has all of their other perks, the weapon that currently isn't being held by the player will be able to refill its magazine from its reserve ammo over time. So we don't have that first feature here where we have increased ammo stock in, you know, Mule Kicks Tier 3 for all of the different weapons. And that would have been a cool addition, honestly. But at least we have the second part here where when you switch to your other weapon, by the time you're using your one weapon, you switch back over, you'll have a decent amount of ammo in the max. So usually when you switch over, you want to be able to shoot zombies quickly. You don't want to have have to reload because then you might die so this is a cool little feature here to keep you alive for a bit longer so again let me know down below as i go through these tiers which one you guys like dislike what they could have changed definitely let me know down below now tier 4 25 percent chance to keep non-retrievable equipment when used this is pretty much giving you a one in four chance of keeping a lethal or tactical equipment and it may actually apply to the higher prized items like a chopper in the game but we're not 100 sure on that but overall one in four odds are pretty good in this game and on top of picking up a ton of equipment from dropped zombies they buffed that recently you now also have an increased chance of just straight up keeping them in your inventory which is really really cool especially now they also buffed the actual strength of some of the equipment in this new season four reloaded update this is a perfect tier perfect timing for right now especially so again let me know down below if you guys use equipment often if you're using these stim shots this could be really good if you're constantly using c4s grenades this could be a really really cool tier here now finally tier five third primary weapon is recovered when repurchasing mule kick this is the tier that most people wanted if mule kick were to ever be brought back into the game it makes the most sense to have this over pretty much every other tier in this perk right now because it solves one of the main issues people had with mule kick for all of these years now in treyarch zombies especially no one wants to get mule kick get a one's weapon as their third weapon slot get downed especially by accident or a stupid down and then they lose that one drip and that packed one drip and forever it's just not worth the risk so some people would just straight up never buy the perk now you could say that you know make sure your wonder weapon is in the first two slots but you still don't want to lose your third weapon anyway regardless of what it is so this tier really solves that issue and it's not surprising that it's the tier five upgrade this one's the best one here we knew they're going to do this and it makes the most sense again so that's all of the tiers here for the mule kick dlc perk and overall it seems like a solid perk a solid addition to the zombies mode better than tombstone for sure but maybe ranks a bit lower than most of the other perks currently in the game we'll see as we play zombies how it actually impacts our gameplay but as of now it seems like just a pretty good middle of the line perk now here's a perk concept of mule kick in cold war zombies and let's see if Treyarch should have added some of these features to the final version of the perk the base feature of this perk is that you carry a third weapon but also the mule kick perk icon will glow when holding out your extra weapons which is very very cool tier one after the purchase of your third weapon you will receive a 50 percent essence refund kind of cool there but really only applies to that third weapon it's not something that's normally going to happen so i don't really like that tier one but tier two extra weapons have a 15 percent ammo increase kind of what we already have in the new mule kick perk tier three your third weapon will deal 10 percent extra damage now we're getting into the double tap realm here double tap being brought into mule kick in a sense now in the perk in cold war that's finally releasing we're not getting really any double tap features double tap will definitely be a separate standalone dlc perk although this would have been cool to be brought together with mule kick most likely this extra damage stuff all of that will be in the double tap perk tiers tier four purchasing mule kick again after going down will return any lost weapons back to you exactly what we have for tier five and cold war zombies and finally a crazy one here tier five carry a fourth weapon i've seen a bunch of memes about this here and this would be insane but realistically do we need a fourth weapon slot in this game and i even saw players say people on twitter in my chat were saying that when mule kick was first revealed for cold war zombies last week or so some people are saying well do we even need a third weapon slot because in this game to be honest like you're using the ray gun that's your main weapon for a high round game or whatever you're doing for the easter egg then you have a shotgun and you just don't 
normally need a third weapon. Now, I disagree with that. I think a third weapon slot is super, super useful, but maybe a fourth weapon slot would be a bit overkill. It would make things a bit too easy, but I don't know. That'd be kind of funny eventually if they do add a tier six and tier seven to all of the perks towards the end of Cold War Zombies life cycle. That'd be a cool addition to have. But overall here, I think Mule Kick, they did the best they can. There aren't really too many features that are completely missing from this perk in Cold War Zombies that I, I'm saying like they have to add. Like overall, I'm pretty satisfied with what we have here. I would have liked to see a bit more of the Voltrade vibes in this perk. Uh, double tap is going to be a separate perk, so I'm not mad that double tap is not brought together with Mule Kick. And that's pretty much it here. So let me know down below your opinions on this DLC perk. What do you guys want to see? What do you think they should have changed, made differently? Let me know down below. There are two videos up on screen that may interest you, so be sure to check one of them out. Really do appreciate it, guys. Leave a comment down below, Mule Kick, if you watched the entire video. Shout out to the YouTube channel members, as always. And I will see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.